Storm Tracker Team Forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, Delta is finally making its final approach to the northern Gulf Coast. Looks like we're going to have landfall just around Cameron Parish near Grand Chenier and should be moving in through that reserve, that marshland, and then moving up towards I-10. Now, again, after that point, it could wiggle a little bit and then move a little bit further towards the east. But as see here, most of the heavy rainfall does reside a little bit closer to the western side of this system. Reason being, we've got some dry air and some wind shear kind of stripping the top end off at this point, and that's also helping to weaken this system as it moves inland. And as you see here again, we've only got winds now at 100 miles per hour. Again, that can still do a lot of damage. I want to point that out, but it is weakening and it should continue to weaken as it moves inland. For us, we're just going to watch another band of heavy rainfall because the concern really is we had a ton of rain last night, six to 10 inches for a lot of areas. A lot of rivers are pretty swelled at this point. We don't need more rainfall out there. A lot of areas still waiting for that water to recede, and that's not going to happen at least today. That's probably going to happen over the weekend. Here's the latest again by the time we get to late. So around midnight winds up to about 70 miles per hour, but that's mainly closer to the center of the storm for us. We're still talking tropical storm forest winds. A couple gusts key here is it's still moving at a pretty swift forward pace at 14 miles per hour. Notice again, we've got a couple little bands out there. Notice not developing as expected, but I do believe more showers are going to form later on tonight. I think we fall in that three possible four inch category, obviously more on the western side of the Mississippi River, but you can see that the northern side of the eye well has cleared Cameron Parish right now, or at least the city of Cameron, obviously moving inland. We're just waiting for the center of the circulation. It's a very wide eye at about 40, so you got to think about that 20 miles moving inland. So here's the concern flood alert, and I want to point out Comey River now has reached a moderate flooding out there at 25, expected to crest around 26. You can see Amy Denham Springs cresting at 31. That's again without the additional rainfall, and then you see Amy at Bayou Manchac should climb to about 10 feet. And again, you all know if you live close, what that means. Max winds out there 60 in Lake Charles, 48 in Lafayette, 38 for us, 44 in New Orleans. Current wind gusts, 60 in New Iberia, 58 in Salt Point, 74 down in Marsh Island, and 44 here, 38 in the capital area, 29 now in Gonzales. And you see these estimated winds as we continue to move forward. A lot of models are pretty much keeping us now at tropical storm forest winds because those winds do extend about 160 miles from the center of this system. You can see there's a couple models, maybe a brief wind gust up to hurricane strength. I do believe that's going to sit more around Point Capi Parish and really kind of divide that line down the Atchafalaya Basin and closer to Acadiana where we get those hurricane force winds and really just kind of packed around the center of the system. But good well, our good old friend dry air and wind shear really helping us out over the last few hours, keeping the system from strengthening. It's actually weakening and collapsing as we speak here. So that's good. And that means the rain threat is going to start to diminish a little bit too for a lot of locations. Still the potential for widespread flash flooding, but that's going to be mainly central and western Louisiana. As you see here, your winds at about 39 miles per hour. That's going to be the overall category. Maybe a few spotty power outages, winds greater than 74 miles per hour, hurricane force winds and that's going to be mainly around Acadiana and near the coastline. You see our live tower cam. We're getting a couple showers out there. It's now 79 degrees outside, but watch our future cast. A couple bands out there, some showers moving from I-55. Again, we're talking about an inch to maybe two inches of overall rainfall for most areas. Some areas, I would say mainly around Point Capee, New Road, Southern Mississippi, you guys can maybe get about three to six inches of rainfall. And then we start to see overall conditions start to wind down. Just showing you another model out here that those storms kind of lift out of here and we get back into a quieter picture. Finally, by the time we head into early tomorrow morning. So again, this is going from daylight to nighttime. Key is we're going to see landfall most likely within the hour. And we'll talk more about that in just a bit.